Welcome back. In this video, let's learn about binary search trees. We will first understand what a binary tree is and then understand what a binary search tree is. Let's begin. A binary tree is a tree data structure in which each node has at most two children. They are referred to as left child and right child. Here is a simple visualization of the binary tree data structure. As you can see, each node has a maximum of two child nodes. Now, if this is clear, let's understand what are binary search trees. A binary search tree is a binary tree that has the following two properties. The value of each left node must be smaller than the parent node and two, the value of each right node must be greater than the parent node. Of course, this is in addition to each node having at most two children. Here is a simple visualization of the binary search tree data structure. As you can see, each node has a maximum of two child nodes. The left child nodes contain value smaller than their parent node and the right child nodes contain values greater than the parent node. Binary search trees support the following operations. Insertion to add a node to the tree. Search to find a node given its value. Depth first search and breadth first search to visit all nodes in the tree. And finally, deletion to remove a node given its value. Binary search trees find their application in searching, sorting, and to implement abstract data types such as lookup tables and priority queues. I understand this is a very high level use case for BST, but I want you to make a note and Google about these applications in the context of binary search trees once we are done implementing it. When you learn how performant BSTs are with the different operations, you will realize why it is a good choice. All right, now that we have an overview, in the next video, let's implement the binary search tree data structure in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.